Hi guys, um, just a quick video uh, for those of you that are not very familiar with setting points um, on a distributor. This goes for any motor. This is an Atomic 4. So that little round cylinder there, that's the condenser. Very cheap, always want to keep one spare. Actually, it's that's just the bracket, that's the condenser over there. Uh, that is a very very important little guy that can fail. Um, you see down here, it's a little bit hard for me, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, those are your points. This part here doesn't move, and this one opens and closes as you rotate the body of the distributor here. There's a lock nut at the bottom, uh, you can see it's down over here. It's a bit hard to see in there, but down at the base of the distributor, there's usually one nut that keeps it in place once you've adjusted it. So back that off. What you want to do is, you can see over there, there's like a bit of a, a rise on this metal part. Uh, it's called a lobe, but what you want to do is you want to rotate the distributor body until the points are as wide as they possibly can be. Mine or now. You'll see as I turn this, let's see, you can see how the points close. There the points are closed. Watch, watch that little gap over there. And now as it goes up on that lobe, you'll see the points get opened. It's almost like going over a speed bump, basically. So what you want to do is, the points have a little heel. Let me actually, by the way, that's the, uh, this is the rotor, this little plastic guy. They always just um, pull off the top and they have a key, so they can only go in one way. But what you'll see is, down over here, you see that little red tab? That little red tab rides on this shaft, and you can see the shaft clearly here has these, these bumps on them. And each bump will fire a cylinder, so a four-cylinder will have four bumps. And you can see there, it's right on the highest part over here. And that's where you want to set your point gap. And then what you want to do is, you undo that, that's the locking screw over there. So you can undo that. I usually don't do it all the way. I make it just loose enough so that you can see a screwdriver can fit in here. You can see how I can open and I can close the gap using this, this, um, this slot over here. And you want to set that at the highest setting to an eighteenth or a twenty thousandth of an inch, which is about 0 0.45 millimeters, 0 0.48, so almost half a millimeter. And when you've got that gap close, you just tighten down the lock nut again, and your, your points gap has been set. Now that will change your timing. How does timing work? Well, this thing is basically a switch to the uh, spark plug. So, depending which way your motor is turning, the easiest way to find that out is to take this distributor cap off, just press the starter briefly, and see which way that turns. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, in this case, I think it's clockwise. You want to set your firing. Um, the points will be closed. When the points are closed, the electricity is building up power. Um, and then the moment these points open is when you are basically going to see fire, when your spark plug is going to fire. So, apart from getting a lot more technical, you pretty much want to, if my rotor is moving in an clockwise direction while the motor is running, then this would simulate the operation. But instead of the rotor turning, I am now moving the body of the distributor. And what you want is, you see how the points have closed? The moment those points disconnect is when you are going to have 
fire and a way to do this is you can actually turn your key on just don't ever leave it on for longer than I'd say a minute and a half but as you rotate this slowly backwards it'll make a ticking sound there and you might see a little spark there the moment you have that that's exactly where you are going to have fire okay I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration on how to see that spark uh, I now have power, the key is on, um, and I just wanted to demonstrate to you how I've set the gap now, and I'm just going to show you the spark that you should see, and you just want to go very slowly. There it is. You have to go from when the points are closed and to the moment they open you'll see that little spark right there and now what you can do is you can go and tighten down that lock nut on the distributor and uh, your firing and timing is set up and then basically what you want to make sure is that this rotor at that precise moment is pointing to Whichever cylinder of yours is at top dead center. So in this case, it's number one, which is uh, at the back over there. I've already set this up. And um, so I will put that corresponding lead to the cap terminal that points to the rotor over here. And that is pretty much a very rough explanation on how to set up the points. All that gap that you set, the points gap, it's dwell. It's how long the points are closed building up a charge and how long they're open. And uh, it's good to get that right because um, if it's not closed long enough it won't build up enough power and if it's closed too long, i.e. your gap's too small, you'll uh, this, this might overheat and you'll burn points. Uh, but anyways, hope that helps some guys. Ciao!